Our EMAN goal is to produce and provide to the world one of the world most sought after coffee, which is Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee, 100%. We have been exporting coffee, Trumpet Tree, um, from 2016 till now. We have grow, grow, grow significantly. Our main export is to the US, where we export over 70% of what we, we will be taking. And, and main company in the US as the distributing company is BMCI, which is owned by Edgar Munn. We have gone to Korea in a small way, not in such a big way. And then we see the Japan, Japan in some form now checking in. This year we, 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 we get a little better market than last year. And then we get into some argument over to China. We do some to Europe, England. We also send coffee. To, to Italy, there's a little company in Italy by the name of Best Coffee. Also down under Australia, we, we have a little market. Not anything great, but we hope to expand on that in the near future. In terms of our roasted product locally, we normally do the duty-free shops on the tourism side. But since COVID, that has dropped from about all of our sales, about 90, 99% of our sales was there because we haven't, haven't have reluctantly to branch out in supermarkets because of terms and conditions. They would take it on credit, but why whatever I don't sell, they would you'd have to take it back and replace it and all of that. So that's a challenge. Not saying I won't, but uh, we're working on some, some, some other, other things. We also have a product where we, since COVID, it, 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 it has pushed me to think out of the box. There's always a thing that Jamaican and the world don't like coffee and don't drink coffee, but that's a myth, right? That, that's, that's not true. The Blue Mountain coffee is a very expensive coffee, very expensive to produce, very expensive to, 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 to process, very expensive to, everything about the coffee is expensive. So you have to sell it at, at a price to ensure that you can stay afloat. We, I now come up with a product where I find a way to ensure that each and every Jamaican can afford to drink Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee at only about maybe $60, $70 per, per sachet. And that's Jamaican dollar, not, not, not US. So once you can go into a corner shop, shop on your street, supermarket, wholesale, wherever you can go, we have a product by the name of Better Cup, 100% Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee. Approve, register, and everything. Uh, we do a feasibility study, and the remark, the, the, the feedback is, is great. So we are, we're gonna do a launch soon to push that product to every Jamaican. And uh, here, some people in Barbados kind of see it on Instagram and want it as well. And, that's, and the tea, that's the tea bag. That's a tea bag. So, so, so the, the better cup is, is really a tea bag. The first 100% Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee tea bag. So we acquire machine unit to do that machine that makes 40 cups per minute. We also have the, the pound coffee, which is the whole bean. It goes by the name of Reading Blue, and, and the, the, the ground coffee. I would say in terms of export, we have more demand now since more people staying at home overseas. So, so there, there, there's a demand now for, 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 for Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee. So it doesn't um, put a damp on, on the export. But what, what we have to do Though a lot of customers is, 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 is squeezing about in terms of price. So what I have to do is do is try to do sell sell more for less to ensure that I, I can make a margin on it. So if you sell a hundred thousand pounds, I used to make three dollars. Then you try to sell two hundred thousand pounds and try to make a dollar. So 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 so, so the, the customer is 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 really trying to, to stay afloat as well because Overseas, a lot of people are out of work, a lot of people stay home, a lot of people with a salary cut, so the spending power is not all that great. So as a business person, you have to sit and really make, make an evaluation of the circumstances and the situation and try to fit in and stay afloat as well. For me, my aim and goal is not, not to, never, never to compete. And it's not a matter of don't wanting to be the best, but my aim and goal is that I have
close to 70 persons that work with me. No, if they can broker bread and be comfortable in breaking that bread to sustain their own life and the life of their children, then I am happy. That's me. That's just me. So, as I tell, a lot of times I tell my workers, it's, not, it's never about the money and what I can make. It's about how I can touch your life.